and thanks for watching. This is Linda Bartolucci, owner of InkStampAndScrap.com, and today I'm going to show you how we made this card. This is a happy birthday card that I'm sending to all my customers that have signed up on my birthday form. You can find it on my blog, www.InkStampAndScrap.com. If you register your birthday, then on your birthday I will send you a, or during your birthday month, I'll send you a birthday card with a great coupon inside. So let's see how I made this card. First thing I'm going to do is get that focal point done because that's the most complicated part. So I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring 2 and 3 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths and I'm going to put it right in the center of my grid paper with a little bit of dotto. I've already inked up my stamp -a jig so I'm going to take the plastic plate and I'm going to take the image and put it right over the top of my paper lining it up nice and carefully. Then I'm going to take my Stampin'Majig tool and line the left corner of the plate with the left corner of the tool. I'm going to take my stamp that I used to make the image on the plate. I'm going to ink it up with Early Espresso ink. and Then I'm going to line up the upper left corner of the stamp block with the tool. Stamp down straight. Hold it for a few seconds and pull away and voila I have a beautiful stamped image. This edge is sticking up a little so I can just pull it off because remember it had the dotto. Now what I'm going to do is I need to punch that center out to make my happy birthday show. Now this is a pretty small piece of cardstock so I'm going to add some, a post-it to the end in order to make it easier to stamp. So I'm going to line up my curly label stamp right in the center, pop it out, and when I take the post-it off, you can see that I got everything just right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my happy birthday right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is take um, a two inch square of pool party cardstock, and I'm gonna stamp my happy birthday somewhere near the middle, which is just fine. It's not exactly straight, but that's gonna be okay because I'm gonna put snail on the back of this and then with my crown at the top I'm going to move this around until I get a nice straight happy birthday. Eh, not straight. There we go. Nice straight happy birthday. Okay and now I can layer that on my pool party layer that I already cut out with the double scallop square or duo scallop square and I'm going to layer that. Oh, I have a little pool party peeking out here. I'm just going to snip that off. And now it's not peeking out at all. And I can layer this right on here like so. So that gives me the center point of my card. Now I just need to finish the other two layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my layered up piece on here and then I'm going to put some pool party ruffled ribbon around the, uh, the bottom. I'm going to tie it in a knot because I am admittedly not a good bow tire. No pun intended, knot and knot. And then the last thing I need to do is layer it right on my card and I am finished. I'm actually going to show you a card in a little while that uses all these great little ribbon scraps. So I just save them in a can so I can use them um, for a card technique or really you can use it even on a scrapbook page. It's just a great little tip. So you'll have to keep tuning in to see what else I have to show for you. I'm going to just put some snail on the back of that last layer, pop it right on, and voila, I have the birthday card that my customers should enjoy, along with a great little discount card. So if you want to get next month's card, please be sure to sign up on my website, www.inkstampandscrap.com. You'll see birthday form along the top. Click on it and sign up to get next month's birthday card. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day.